So I used to have this uh, mount that I found in uh, thing yours. Uh, it is uh, used to um, attach um, MKS Gen to a rail using M3 um, screw and uh, T knot. This this thing works, but I have a few problems with it. As in, it's not really uh, designed for uh, holding cables that are are uh, twisting. So uh, I think this one designed for. Uh, different kind of uh, printer design. So uh, based on this I created my own design which is uh, this thing which is a lot thicker so hopefully it's not gonna flex and I added a couple of more features. It goes directly on top of uh, 20, 20 rail with the um, 10 millimeter um, M5 screw and it to take it connects to uh, M10, uh, M5 uh, T-nuts, and um, so th that, that's for the basic version. Uh, <clears throat> this thing also has uh, pegs here that give some clearance to it, and also I added a few things to the um, design, uh, a few bolt-on things. So at the back, uh, you see there's holes here, and these are for attaching um, uh, five by seven centimeters, uh, I guess in this case, daughter boards. I have this one which basically provides uh, power from uh, I'm catching a uh, 12 uh, volt line. I just connected here, um, and then I have power for these fans that I would like to use. Um, so the board goes on the back, uh, I'm using M3 uh, 10 millimeter screws to attach it, uh, there are, um, the, the heads are a little bit recessed so they don't touch and short anything at the bottom of MKS Gen. And I use this these little pegs, I just add them uh, when uh, uh, fastening uh, the daughter board. Uh, so uh, this thing is hold in place and at a nice distance uh, from the main body of uh, the board holder. Uh, so I have a couple of accessories for this. One of them is to hold the um, uh, cable from, uh, uh, this one is for holding cable uh, from heated bed and the sensor is there. And this one is for holding a cable uh, from the print head. So uh, I have this that uh, this adapter that holds that takes uh, three uh, 40 millimeter fans and it goes like this and it does not interfere with the M5 uh, screw that holds the board. Uh, knots go in here uh, and I uh, later in the video I'll show how to assemble uh, three fans uh, to cool this area of the board where all of the uh, stepper motors are located. There is about uh, uh, 20 to 30 millimeters of clearance here, so uh, it may this may not the setup may not work for uh, some of the stepper motors uh, that have a bigger uh, heat sink. The easiest way of uh, attaching this board uh, to the printer is by using this yoga block. It's uh, it's almost the same dimension, uh, same uh, length as uh, bare upgrade. Uh, dimensions, so I just take the printer, put it vertically, and use yoga block as the support for the z-axis. Then I would just take two T-knots and slide them in the outer uh, slot. So uh, for, uh, for this thing to work, if you're using outer slot, this thing will hold just fine with the outer slot, 
but if you're using and you can remove the screws anytime but if you're using inner slots which doesn't work here but works uh, on the opposite side I'm going to use uh, attach this on this side uh, so for that and you're using inner slots or somehow you have a different design and you're using both for inner slots you have to uh, attach the uh, holder first because uh, uh, screws here will interfere with uh, the board so you will not able to use the screws after you mount the board but if you're using only the outer ones it's fine now um, the hardware I'm using. So this is standard socket M5 screws. Uh, the rest of the build uh, should work with uh, M3 uh, 10 millimeter screws, except for the screws that are attaching uh, 40 millimeter fans to this adapter. These are uh, 12 millimeter uh, M3 screws. Here's the screws that I've been using for this. As you can see, um, 10 millimeter screws are uh, uh, zinc coated and uh, 12 millimeter screws are just, uh, I guess, uncoated. Uh, and um, I also built this little socket. It fits into uh, a standard screwdriver, uh, screwdriver socket and I can use it to uh, fasten the M3 nuts. M3 nuts fit, fit in there. Exactly, or, or to hold those nuts while I am uh, tightening the screw. So, for this build, uh, I don't need to clean uh, any of the extra filament from the back, so this is fine. And I'm going to start with attaching uh, this daughter board. I'm going to attach it like this, so there is the least amount of cable is needed to connect uh, the, the board from the uh, front of the MKS. MKS, Jan. First, I'm going to take uh, four M3 10 millimeter screws, pass them through, oh, the, the, the holes are a little bit, uh, a little bit tight, so uh, I'm just going to uh, use this hex bit and just uh, screw the bolts in. Now I have the uh, bolts protruding from the back. I'm gonna add the uh, spacers for uh, the board. And I'm going to attach the board and put it through the bolt holes. And then take uh, uh, four knots and fasten them to the bolts. And now to fasten everything, I'm just gonna hold the bit in the back just with my hands and I'm gonna tighten this with a screwdriver. Now, once this is done, I'm going to attach the cable holders to the bottom and the top. 
and they 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 both require um, two 10 millimeter bolts and two m3 nuts so i'm just going to and then Take the tool. And then once the bolts are screwed in slightly, I'm just going to pass them through. Keep screwing them in. Seems like I made some uh, somewhat uh, unreasonable calculation, and um, this wire holder twists slightly when it's uh, attached to the bottom of the board. Maybe you can see this from this angle. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna make adjustments to the model, but uh, so far I'm just gonna keep going with the build. And I fasten the uh, wire holder with uh, two uh, M3 knots. I will do the same thing for the uh, wire holder for uh, for the print head and that should fit right in yeah so um, I have uh, I think the bottom part is just off by a ha about half millimeter So now I'm just fastening the knots the back of the wire holder for the extruder. And in theory uh, it shouldn't flex too bad uh, because it's hold, held by two knots but also I um, added a lip here that um, holds it more or less in place and now I'm going to tighten this a little bit and I think I'm gonna tighten this also at the bottom again Then I'm going to um, attach uh, spare bolts for the second daughter board um, if I ever going to make it so I don't have to pull out MKS Chen to uh, insert the board, insert the uh, knots that hold the board. And I'll just attach the spare uh, spacers for the board. And then uh, I cap them with uh, knots.
Okay, now I'm just uh, gonna do the same thing. Hold the bit on one side and then tighten the knot on the other. Now, for attaching MKS chain, I will need four M3 nuts and four 10 millimeter uh, M3 bolts. So nuts go in the uh, nut recesses. For MKS chain, I removed everything except for these two motor wires. These are the Z motors, and this uh, are, is the connector to the daughter board. And I'm going to uh, uh, attach it in this direction so all the uh, cables from heated bed are coming for this half tube and all of the cables for the extruder are coming from the top so uh, I'm just going to uh, put this thing down and yeah the problem is right now I have attached all the uh, wiring at the bottom so this thing is not exactly stable I'm just going to align it to the pegs and then uh, insert two bolts insert one bolt to one cor corner a little bit then insert another bolt diagonally and slightly fasten it One of the uh, motor cables are stuck between the board and the bolt and I hope I did not damage it. Yeah, now it's out and now I'm going to fasten this again. Now I'm going to insert the remaining uh, bolts while, while not um, fastening, fastening it not fastening this thing completely then I'm going to take screwdriver and finish fastening everything Now I just want to de demonstrate that uh, M5 bolts uh, can be installed while MKS chain is already been fastened. So if you are going to install uh, the fans, you really should in uh, insert the nuts first. Ah, the dimensional Z accuracy of my printer is not the best, so it's going to take a bit of effort to do it. So ju just for installing the knot, knot I'm going to use 12 uh, millimeter screw. Then I, I screw it in so it just sticks out just a little bit. Then take the knot and set it so that it aligns with the uh, indentations for the knot and then I slowly screw in the screw so that pulls the knot in hopefully without uh, damaging the recess for the knot and uh, you know what I'm going to do it by hand the knot that I inserted successfully I'm just go going to pull that one in using this the same screw
I'm just going to use power tool to remove the um, screw from the hole. Okay, this is how the recessed uh, nuts look like. And now I'm going to insert the one last over here. So yeah. Okay. This thing is ready to be mounted here, but I'm going to leave it alone for now. And uh, I'm going to uh, pay attention to the uh, fans. Now I'm going to uh, attach them to the uh, bracket one by one. So actually attaching them, they're looking like this. So I have to flip them uh, when I do this with the lab label looking at me uh, when I hold the bracket. I'll just stick the screws through and then I'll just fasten this thing by hand, not even using screwdriver. Uh, the problem here is that the lip that holds a uh, fan to the bracket is pretty thin, so it's um, not difficult to, to uh, snap it, so be careful with that. Now the last fan. And now I'm now I have holes with no um, screws uh, on the inside and holes that not gonna hold anything facing outwards. So I'm just gonna pull the screws out and then push them in. So okay, we have that. Now I can just flip this whole thing, and hopefully without damaging any cables. I can just hold the uh, plate and then insert 12 millimeter screws maybe I'll go with uh, two on the outside first then insert them then uh, on the inside and then uh, tool fasten everything going from outside side in once everything uh, is wired in, I can just take this, install fame bank here, and then screw it down with, uh, oops, with um, M3 10 millimeter screws. Now, uh, I'm going to attach this whole assembly. I'm looking for how much space I have uh, between here uh, so uh, the wires coming from uh, this ridge that will go to the motors and uh, the harness here, uh, th this is going to hold like at least five wires. From my calculation, it shouldn't be too close. 
because this will make wiring job kind of bad and if there is a bit more space this is good and for for the uh, extruder wiring it doesn't really matter because extruder wires are just going to be coming from the top and this thing is going to be held in place so once uh, when the um, extruder is moving around uh, the wire is bent uh, as little as possible i'm gonna take um, the uh, screws out again and I'm going to use a small stick in case this is this Allen key to look that uh, if the um, T nuts are aligned with the holes so I can I guess move this thing up to here somewhere this is a good position I have a little bit of space to move around if I need to back and forth and I have small ridges here uh, one layer uh, high so they um, kind of adjust uh, the uh, board to the uh, uh, extrusion but uh, you, you, you still need to be careful and make sure the whole thing uh, aligns before you fasten the knots there are T nuts aligned like this and and the holes for the T nuts are visible through the mounting holes for the board so now I'm just gonna um, get the uh, M5 screws slowly Fasten them just a little bit. So once the screw catches the T-nut, I'm just gonna go and catch the, fasten the other one. Make sure that everything's aligned. And just keep fastening until it feels like it's catch, it's caught. No, it's not caught. And I, actually, in fact, both of them are not caught, so. There seems to be a little bit more room to tighten the bottom knot than the one at the top. So let's see how that went. Yeah, so uh, now as this thing is tightened, I'm just going to undo this knot a little bit so I can move the board around and I can move the knot at the top to align it with the hole. Oh, need to be careful of the motor drivers. So yeah, uh, so yeah, now I aligned the mounting hole with the T-knot at the top and I am fastening it yeah and it's fastened now I'm, I'm undoing both of the knots slightly so there, there's not, not a lot of room and there's not a lot of difference between uh, undoing the knot slightly and unfastening them completely so once the knots are undone, I'm, I'm aligning the board so it's aligned with the sides of, uh, of the frame. And now for the wiring, I'm going to take the harness for The extruder and uh, I'm not going to use uh, zip ties just now I'm going to um, get a tape I really like using this cheap uh, magic tape it doesn't seem to leave um, residue after I remove it and 
I am going to take this like that and um, and just tape it down. And I will always have an option of just uh, cutting any of the cables or any of the uh, housing here. So uh, what I'm doing right now is just kind of letting it get held in place while I'm wiring things in and I'm doing the same thing for the heated bed just I need to leave enough room so the cables can flex and then I will tape this thing to the wire guide. In my setup uh, I'm going to use this thing in, in, in the print chamber so I'm not going to attach the power brick so power go usually goes here now I can then I guess attach it over here and I have cables I can just kind of attach uh, these wires through this harness and it's not the best system but it's better than cutting cables so uh, what I'm going to do I'm going to change the Ziploc configuration on this uh, part of uh, wire, attach it and then uh, guide them through this thing to somewhere where I can uh, attach this part and the power brake it doesn't go uh, on the printer, it's going to be uh, separate. And finally uh, the fan bank, there is indentations here so one, once everything is wired I can attach it and then if for whatever reason, uh, the uh, whole harness needs to come out. Uh, it's not hard to detach the fan bank, but the screws uh, that hold uh, the holder for the board are not covered by the fan bank. So in case you don't want to take the, them out, you can just uh, directly access the screws. This is all I wanted to say for now. And in the next video, I'm going to wire up everything.